about time, what took so long? This stuff is complicated but well worth the wait, tell the council that Serum Z4578 is ready to go. Finally, good news for once. What is that? The serum is mine. Now I finally have the serum to give me super strength. Stop right there criminal, and return the serum. It's brick. I can't let you leave with that, it doesn't belong to you, so you're coming with me to the holding cells. Ugh. We could have done this the easy way, but you don't deserve it. Alan! Hurry up you're gonna be late, your father is outside waiting on you. Hurry and get out here before he makes your run drills, instead of having dinner tonight. Who's cooking? That will depend on how upset he'll be. You're gonna hear it from your father you know that right? He's not a patient man, besides. I always cook. I'm trying to hurry mom, I'm looking for my infiltrator. Your what? Nothing, found it. You'd better hurry, you dad is excited to show you the command center. I'm not excited to go, I already have my assigned duties and am happy with them. R&D is where my heart is, besides being out in the field, fighting on the front line, that's not my style. Your dad is also a stubborn man, so he's going to try anyways. Just go, it will be fun. Maybe you will see some of the prisoners they have down below. Aren't all young boys into that sort of thing, cops and robbers? I'm not eight, Mom. I'm 18 and it's time for me to make my own decisions, at least that's what I'm telling Dad, at some point. Not today, Alan. Your father sacrifices so much for this colony, it's not easy being the elected protector. He's responsible for the safety of everyone in the colony. Rick, why again did he pick that as his protector name? I think it sounds lame. Can't help what type of ability the serum gives you, if you were the protector, what do you think your protector name would be? Don't even want to think about it, that's something that I do not want, ever. Didn't you say dad was going to be mad at me for being late, because that was like 10 minutes ago? Gotta go. Yeah they were after the serum. If that serum were to hit the intergalactic market. I see, but we can't let that serum out of our grasp. The next election for the protector is coming up. There's a chance you want Let's to finish it. this conversation later councilman. You're late. 20 laps tonight after dinner. We need to get you in shape for the task force anyways. I still don't understand why any more people are needed for the task force, it's not like we've had any incidents that you can't handle, at least not for 300 years, not since the Oleodorons. I don't need a history lesson Alan, you must have forgotten I'm much older than you, I was a boy when our people first discovered humans. It was so long ago. Earth is a beautiful planet though, I go there sometimes whenever we do the quarterly mission trips. How cool. My dad is the greatest. Well I am the most re-elected protector, and one of the only ones who have developed super strength with the serum. Are we there yet?
Come on son, I'll show you my office. Ah uh, hello Tyus. This is my son Alan. I will never understand why you guys pick older and such basic names, poor Alan, they're so, last millennium, you might as well live on earth where some people don't even vaccinate their kids. Enough Tyus, you will respect your commander. As the elected protector I'm in charge of the task force, and you're a few ranks below me, so fall in line. Yes sir. You know, there has ever only been two other protectors since we developed the serum, your dad has outserved his turn and needs to relinquish the title. Sounds like you better take it up with the people then, because he's elected for a reason. Alan, are you coming? Yeah, Dad. I'm coming. And this is my office. Sir, sir, we have a problem. What is it, soldier? Our transportation team, we've lost contact and they were carrying the new weapons from the capital. That's not good. Um, Dad, what's that? Not a good sound. I'm going to go see what's going on. Soldier, escort my son to the training room. It's our most secure room, heavily reinforced. Yes, sir. Come on, follow me, little brick. So what do you think is going on? No clue, stay in here until someone gets you. What's going on soldier? What are you doing in the training room? Locking little brick in there for safety. Okay soldier, continue. Hands up right now, scumbag! Huh? Where do you come from? Who are you? I won't ask again. Listen, I don't know what's going on here. But let me just go get my dad to figure it out. Stop right there. Okay, okay, easy. I'll do what you say. He's calling for backup and shooting now. Come on, infiltrator. There has to be something in here I can hack. Just going to tap on your computer, instead of defend yourself? This is the exact reason I need to get you into the task force. Toughen you up a little. Not everyone can be the protector dad. If I had powers like you I would have taken them down easily. It is true I have an advantage. However having a power doesn't make anyone a hero. Power comes with a responsibility that too many people let get to their heads. I know power corrupts, but isn't that something humans struggle with? Wiccan Arians? 
our minds are far more advanced for an ego complex. It appears not. Especially since you think you're too good to join the task force. It's not that bad. It's just I like the R&D department. I've learned how to make new gadgets and more importantly, it's safe. You're just an apprentice. It takes a lifetime to get to the top. At the task force I can make sure you have a future. Even if it's one you don't think is good enough. Come on, you're late to orientation. Alright class. Welcome to your first day of task force training. As you know I'm Brick, and I'll be stepping in for Lieutenant Dodgers today. Let's get right to it. Number 1, welcome to the task force. We are responsible for enforcing the law on Zuaru. And for keeping the peace between our people. And other interplanetary races. You will be pushed to your limits and you may want to quit, and I won't blame you. However if you make it through the training, you'll be a part of a rewarding team that protects our people, and ensures that your neighbor, your friends, and your family, feel safe at home. Some of you may even get to escort missions to Earth for our missionary trips. But today we're actually going to start off with light combat training. I'm going to pick one person to spar with Lieutenant Atla. One are our best combatants. Oh great. Another super soldier like my dad. Actually. Hey class. That's Lieutenant Atla, wow. Yeah, I'm going to volunteer, even though I know she'll win. Alright class let's begin, I am going to pick um, Alan, you're up. What? Me? I can't fight her, she's a girl. Show me how girly I am, Mr. Blake. Um, alright but he'll take it easy on you. I was hoping so. First rule of combat, never underestimate your opponent, no matter how girly they seem to be. Sorry for the interruption but the council has asked that you escort Tyus and his team to the capital. He's made some scientific breakthrough that the council has to see, it's urgent. That's a little below my duties. Atla, will you escort them? Commander Brick, after today's incident everyone is on edge. That's why the council insists you to escort them. Makes sense. I'll be there shortly. Atla, take my place and teach these recruits what the task force is about. Alright recruits, everyone run laps. Except for you Alan, I have a special assignment for you. What is this thing again? My newest creation. It's taken me nearly a century to complete. This idea is how I became a biological engineer for the task force. It's going to revolutionize how we manage our waste and so much more. You see this tiny thing can eat literally anything. And its digestive system disposes of what it eats by turning it into breathable air. Interesting. And what is the helmet for? Ah. This is how we control them. I've only designed three so far. But if the council likes them, we will start producing them in mass. Soon we will have a cleaner planet. And maybe new pets for families to have. The possibilities are endless. Wow. That actually does sound interesting. I know. I am the real protector here. By the way, have you thought of what you are going to do when you're not voted in again? I wouldn't worry too much about that. Buck the 
Buckle up guys. It appears we have company. All better, your communicator is back to working condition. Just try to not smash it again, that might help. Hazard of the job, thank you. How did you know I'd be able to fix your communicator? Your dad, he mentioned you had a thing for technology. He talks about me? I feel like I'm nothing but an embarrassment to him. He's the greatest protector in Zuru history, and I can fix broken stuff. I couldn't even save myself from whatever happened in the training room. Are the holograms, they're designed to be realistic, it helps with training. A little too realistic if you ask me. What's up with all the alarms here anyways? Is this place always so crazy? Yes actually, the alarms were triggered by an unidentified object in our air zone. We have to be on high alert because we store most of the military tech in this building. I suppose having the best tech makes Zuiru a high-profile target. Exactly. Lieutenant Atla, I don't have good news. The protector ship and its crew were shot down. Everyone survived but one, I'm sorry, but Brick didn't make it. <laughs> My father? Where is he? I'm sorry, Alan. I thought they told you. He didn't make it. But somehow you did. Interesting. I'm a victim too, Alan. Did you forget I was in the ship also? Now if you'll excuse me, you can leave, both of you. Oh, Alan. You're not supposed to see me like this. I just don't know what else to do. All I can do is cry. The tears won't stop. Your father is gone. We can't afford this housing unit if I don't work. And I haven't worked in ages, I don't know what to do. How we're going to survive. It's okay mom. We will figure everything out. Come in. Sorry I know this is a rough time, but I wanted to tell you guys the news. In Brick's absence the council thinks we need another protector. The team on board the protector ship said that Tyus saved their lives, so he is acting protector for a trial period, but will become permanent eventually. What? None of this makes sense. As much as I don't want to, I'm going to have to go to the crash site. That requires you to have a ship, and you don't. Also flying without a license is illegal and I'd be bound to take you in. However, if I tag along, I think we'll be okay. The only issue is, we don't have the exact coordinates of where it happened, it could take us a while to track it down. Not necessary, I have this. And what is that? I call it my infiltrator, this baby can hack any data from a computer, I just need to borrow your communicator again to get me into the task force network. Hello, what can I help you with? I need to access my ship. I'm sorry but the air zones are closed right now, orders of Commander Tyus. District 3 is a no-fly zone as of right now. Well now what? He said we couldn't fly, how about we drive? Yeah that's not my car, we would need the person's fingerprint to start it. Not when you can hack it. You're telling me that thing can get us in, and to be able to drive the car. Just wait until you see what else it can do. So why do you want to help me find my dad so bad? 
Rick was the only person on the task force who would give me a chance. It's rare to see a girl in the task force, but here I am, and it's all thanks to your dad. Well, the guy normally gets what he wants. I'm not even supposed to be here. I'm supposed to be at my desk and testing new technology. This isn't my lifestyle of choice. And here you are, risking your life to save another. You know, maybe you're not so different from your dad after all. We're approaching the crash site. What is that? I'm not for sure, never seen anything like that before. Stay right here, I'll be back. You're going out there? Don't worry, I'll be fine. I'm a trained soldier. Hi there. <laughs> hey, maybe you're not friendly. Atla. Alan? You're okay. What happened? How did you get here? Dad? You're alive. I knew it. I knew you were too strong to have been killed in a crash. What did they do to you? You look weak. The only thing they've done is captured me. I'm weak because my powers are leaving me. The serum is designed to give the protector powers for 100 years, the same length as the protector term. But without having another dose of the serum, I'm in a much weaker state, and worse, if I don't get the proper care, I could die. Die. No dad, we can get out of here somehow. How did you get here? What happened? I was betrayed. By Tyus. He wants to become the protector and he set up the attack. When we were going down he injected me with some sort of tranquilizer. And I woke up here. I knew it. I knew something was off. We need to get you the serum and we need to get back and stop him. I wish. This little prison was designed to contain someone with super strength in it, and I don't even have that anymore. Some protector I am. Not long ago, someone told me that having a power doesn't make you a hero. Just because you don't have your super strength anymore, doesn't mean you're any weaker than before. You're absolutely right. Let's come up with a plan. Have you seen my infiltrator anyway? That could be the key. You mean that thing? It's way over there. I don't think we're going to be able to reach it. There has to be another way. Ouch, hum. Can't get away from me that easily. So I'll fake dead and you call for medical attention, when he opens up the cell we should both be able to take him. More alarms? That can't be good. Hello boys, need a little help. Atla? I'm glad you're here. How did you find us? I put a tracker on you, before we left to find Brick. But how do I get you out? My infiltrator, hand it to me, I can take care of the rest. What exactly is that supposed to do? Just watch. Let's hurry, Tyus is making his acceptance speech today, let's go say hello. Hello everyone. As most of you already know, after a tragic attack yesterday, our beloved protector Brick is no longer with us. I know this is hard to handle, especially for me, as he was a dear and close friend, and I will miss him. But now isn't the time to mourn, it's a time to fight. Someone attacked us and we must rally together to prevent any more casualties. 
as your new protector. I pledge to find and capture the villain responsible for this. You are the one responsible. You set this whole thing up so you could become the protector. And now you're going down. It's true, take him to the holding cells. Don't worry, we will catch him. He can't run far. Tyus can't cause much harm, but if we don't get my dad the serum, he could die. The serum is right. Oh no, it's gone. Tyus must have taken it. Oh no. So the serum is gone. How long will it take to make another one? You can't. I mean it's not that simple. There is a secret ingredient that we would need. And it's not so easy to get. What is it? A lotus blossom. I've never seen one of those. Of course not. You can only get them from Earth. Earth? Atla, you've been to Earth before, right? Just once, it can be dangerous. Especially if we have to go where I think we have to go. Where's that? An American city. What's wrong with that? There are some that don't even like aliens from their own planet. Imagine if we get caught crossing into their land. Well, you're a trained soldier. You will do fine. Let me know when you make it back. I'm not going alone. It's way too dangerous. You're right. You should take someone. And what are you going to do? I'm going home. I need to rest and work on my infiltrator. It needs adjustments. You don't want to help get the serum and be a hero like your dad. That's not really my thing. Besides, it sounds like you're just going to be back in a day or so. I could be back sooner with your help. To be honest, I could use your help hijacking some Earth technology with your infiltrator. You can work on it in the ship. Let's go. So what are you doing to your infiltrator? I'm upgrading the hacking program I use. It's a working project but I'm close to cracking it. I can remotely access one thing at a time, and it would be nice to be able to access multiple things at once. I'm not sure if I will be able to do it with this old hardware though. There's only one item in the task force vault that is a powerful enough processor for what I need. But it's not really designed for hacking. What did you need me for anyways? I would have enjoyed doing this at home. I needed you to locate someone on Earth who sells the Lotus Blossom. Our contact on Earth is someone I want to avoid. There's always a catch with him. And how am I supposed to do that? They have something called the Internet, where all types of data is stored and the devices are all interconnected to it. Should be simple for someone with your skills. Sounds interesting. What else do I need to know about humans and Earth? Well, you experienced law enforcement on Earth through the training room, those we want to avoid. There are many dangers on Earth I need to warn you about, but let's start with some basic rules. Number one, don't talk to anyone. Number two, blend in as much as possible. Number three, don't get distracted by what Earth has to offer. It's your first time and you may be tempted to explore, don't got it. Are you listening? Of course, you wanted a lotus blossom and I found someone who is them. Setting the coordinates now. You're really a good with that thing. Preparing for light speed. Make sure when we come into orbit to activate the active camo.
This is where you found you found a lotus blossom. A city is one of the worst places for us to be. I can't tell you how many times other aliens have been caught on camera. Luckily for us, we look just like humans. Lucky us, let's hurry. This place is scarier than I thought. Bring your infiltrator, there is one more thing I need you to do, and it's not exactly legal. You need me to hack this piece of cake. But why am I doing this again? We need the paper in here to pay for the lotus blossom. We're just going to borrow it. So this is the currency, they haven't went digital yet I see. Not entirely, come on this way. This is the place, not exactly what I expected. What are you doing? I'm scanning the area to make sure there aren't any immediate threats. Let's hurry, my dad doesn't have much time. Hi, I need one lotus blossom please. I'm sorry we're all out, that girl just bought the last one. Well that's just great. Now what? Excuse me miss, how much for the lotus blossom we have $500, way more than what that is worth. It's not for sale, I need it for a special occasion. There's no price worth it, it's my mom's birthday and every year I put a lotus blossom on her grave, it was her favorite. I'm sorry to hear that, is there anything we can give you for the lotus blossom? I need it. Otherwise I will have a grave to visit to, my dad's. It's that serious? Okay, there is only one thing I will trade the flower for. Well two things, the $500 and I need a ride. Nice car, I'm used to walking everywhere. How long have you had it? I got it right after we met. What he meant to say is he's had it for a while. So what's so important about this psychic you have to see? Madame Laru is one of the most famous psychics in modern history. Celebrities, politicians, even religious leaders seek her guidance. I need to speak to my mom again, and find answers about who killed her. I'm sorry to tell you, but magic, psychics, all that, isn't real. Trust me, we're from an advanced civilization and- Oh Alan, you and your imagination are going to get us in trouble. He has an overactive imagination. I see, this looks like the place, while wow, this neighborhood is much nicer than the city. something's off, my electronics aren't working anymore. Let's just get this over with, so we can get back home. You're not carrying a pizza. Hi, I'm here to see Madame Laru. She's out right now, do you have an appointment? Not quite, but I have $500 cash. You'll need $1,000 for a session with my grandma, however if you guys finish my chores, I'll be sure and tell her to give you the family discount. What do you say? We're already here might as well. Thank you guys for your hard work. When my grandma arrives you will have all your questions answered. The little birdie told me we have guest hi babies, what can I do for you? I guess I should be speaking to you, these two have no questions. Only secrets to hide, by the way, if you hurry, you'll make it in time. I know you have questions about your mother, I have answers.